The theater pipe organ that accompanied early 20th century silent movies has found a new stage in an unlikely place, a lip balm warehouse near Milwaukee. Can you kind of feel yourself shaking a little bit, your water bottle shake? The organ is a personal passion of Paul Wolbing, a former art teacher, now president of Karma Laboratories, which makes Carmex products. The pipe organ really is, to me, the, is about as good as it gets. It's an incredibly complex machine. Uh, it's made out of beautiful materials, and there's a rich, really beautiful sound. The pipe organ is being built with refurbished parts from around the country, and what's expected to be one of the largest of its kind in the U.S. This is, this is a dream come true. There are very few occasions where you get to build an organ of this magnitude and don't have to cut any corners. A lot of people say, oh, don't do that. Uh, Paul says, no, I want it done right. The console downstairs has four keyboards, 32 foot pedals, and more than 400 tabs for different sounds. Upstairs is where the electronics and noisemakers are housed. I would say this is, this is one of the more unusual places that I've you know, certainly been involved in a pipe organ project. The project began six years ago and is expected to be completed next year with a total of 6,000 pipes but employees are already enjoying the music. So probably one of the most interesting part of your days would be when you're on a conference call in the afternoon and the organ fires up. You have a lot of explaining to do with the people on the other end why they're suddenly hearing theater music. Wolbing has grander plans for the instrument. My idea eventually is to open it up to the community. To share a bit of the past with everyone. Carrie Antelfinger, Associated Press.